Hey, Melinda Jean Stafford here, your neighborhood beekeeping education specialist with DMB Supply. One of the first steps to preventing swarming is to recognize the signs before they begin. But sometimes that's difficult and it can move pretty quickly. So it's important to be able to see what a queen cell looks like in your hives so that you know if you need to split your hives immediately. Let me show you what a queen cell looks like. You'll notice that a queen cell droops off of the frame, almost like a peanut shell. It has a different texture than the other areas of brood, and it's obviously much larger than another cell in a colony. That's one of the key indicators. It's not uncommon to see multiple queen cells on a frame because when bees are trying to create a new queen, they're gonna increase their odds by increasing the number of cells that they create. If you see one of these queen cells in your hive, make sure that you first look for the existing queen. Is she still there in the hive and is she still laying eggs? If so, then you wanna split that hive immediately. But if you see queen cells and you don't see the existing queen and you don't see eggs, then it's important to leave it alone so that hive can requeen itself. Keep your bees buzzing, y'all.